What's up guys, welcome to the video. Today, I'm going to explain to you how music changed my life, specifically how going to music festivals allowed me to begin to open up more, express myself, and become the person I really am and really live life to the fullest, and how you may be able to do that too, and how this may be the key to your transformation. First of all, I just want to say there's a lot of stuff written on this board and I know you can't read it because it's in really small writing and all scattered all over the place and doesn't make any sense, but that's okay. It's all just there for me to gather my thoughts. I'm going to say all this stuff eventually, so don't worry. All right, so basically, social anxiety much of the time comes from us caring way too much what other people think about us, trying to fit in, be accepted, not be rejected and things like that. So much that we actually put that above expressing ourselves. We think that it's more important to fit in and not rock the boat, so to speak, than to say or think what we feel, or to dance, or to make jokes, or wear risky, crazy clothes, even though you like them, because you're afraid that, for example, if you say you speak your mind, what's gonna happen? You're afraid that you might be rejected, that people won't accept or agree with what you're saying. If you dance, people might laugh at you. If you make jokes and they're actually not that funny, people won't laugh. Or that if you wear crazy clothes, that people are just gonna be like, what is he wearing and start judging you. So what you have to do is you somehow have to flip the script. You have to make it so that expressing yourself is more important to you than what other people think. So a lot of people will naturally say, okay, then just don't care so much what people think of you. But that's obviously completely wrong because if you could simply talk yourself out of it like that, you would have done so already. It's extremely hard to just think or talk yourself out of this, out of caring so much what other people think. So instead, mathematically speaking, the only other solution to this equation to flip around that greater than sign is to increase how important it is to you to express yourself, to say and think what you feel, to dance your heart out and wear the craziest clothes, whatever the case may be. So, how exactly do you do that? Well, that's where the festivals come in. And before I go on, I just want to stop and kind of explain what a festival is in case you aren't aware and haven't been to one. So, there are many different types of festivals. There's country music festivals, rap music festivals, pop, and many different types. But specifically, the ones that I have experience with and that I'm mainly referring to today are electronic music festivals like house, techno, dubstep, all that stuff. So the way they usually work is you get there sometime in the afternoon and it goes well into the night and there are DJs playing at usually a few different stages. There's sometimes art installations, maybe even rides everywhere. You got food, drinks, and so you're just spending the whole day basically listening to music, looking at art, eating, drinking. It's a really good time. And sometimes there are multiple days, even up to like three, four, or five days, and sometimes even have camping. But anyway, that's what a festival is and that's what I'm gonna be talking about. So back to the point, how exactly do we make it so that expressing ourselves is more important than what other people care about us? Which, by the way, you're not doing this on purpose. You're not consciously making the decision to care more what other people think about you. It's something that we can't really help. In fact, you desperately want to do all this. You desperately want to express yourself, but you're just afraid of the judgment. You're afraid that you won't fit in and that you won't be accepted. So. What you actually do, as I said, you're not decreasing this, you're increasing this. So how? You actually are simply just switching the environment. So now you're going from everyday life where people are pretty closed off in like a box, you know, to now you're in an environment where self-expression is completely normal. People are wearing the crazy stuff, dancing everywhere, opening up to strangers, just all this self-expression, just like huge, huge culture of judgment-freeness and all that good stuff. So not only is it normal to express yourself there, but it's actually encouraged all the way to the point where let's say, for example, you're wearing super conservative clothes and you're not dancing and everyone else is over there wearing crazy clothes and they're all dancing. Now, in order to fit in, you actually have to express yourself. So now these become one. In order to fit in, you must express yourself. 
And since, of course, you still care a lot what other people think about you, you don't want to be that guy in conservative clothes just standing there not doing anything. You might actually want to wear like a slightly crazier outfit and start moving around a little bit, dancing, getting comfortable with that, because that's how you're not going to stand out in a music festival. So at first, this might just be contained to the music festival. You might go, you might just be like dancing and whatever, and it'll be good. But then you might come back and it might not quite translate. But the more you do this stuff, the more you start to express yourself, you're going to get more comfortable with it. So let's say you go to another music festival and you do all this stuff more. Now you're going to be able to translate it a little bit more into everyday life. And so again, it's not so much reducing what other people think about care. Sorry. It's not so much reducing how much you care, what other people think about you. You still care, but you're just going into an environment now where you have to express yourself in order to fit in. So what this does is it makes you more comfortable expressing yourself and it's more of a realization that people aren't even going to care as much as you thought they would. And that this was maybe just a little bit misguided because people, a lot of the times they aren't really going to judge you for this stuff, or even if they do, it's not really going to matter. And so obviously it's hard to do all this stuff in everyday life. This is why festivals are key because it's so hard to start doing all this stuff out of nowhere in your regular environments. Let's say with your family or with your friends, because they all have a certain idea of how you should act and you're probably very likely going to stay within that box. But when you go to a music festival, you're with a bunch of strangers who are all expressing themselves in this judgment free zone. And so that's going to make it much easier. It's almost like training wheels. It's like allowing you to express yourself without being judged. So you still fit in. But now here is the key point. This is when you start to decrease this because naturally, you will reduce how much you care what other people think about you because now that you've started to express yourself, gotten more comfortable with it, you'll probably realize just how awesome and how liberating it is to do these things, to dance your heart out, to make jokes, even if people might not think they're funny, to wear crazy clothes, to say and think what you feel. You'll realize how amazing it is to do all this stuff to the point where it will become more important to you to express yourself than to just fit in and stay within your box. Part of the reason why this was so hard for you to begin with, why it was so hard to increase how important self-expression is relative to caring what other people think is because you don't really feel this that much in everyday life. You're not used to this. You're not used to opening up and talking about your thoughts and your feelings or dancing in front of other people or wearing crazy clothes because you've never really had a chance to do that. And so, by not having a concrete idea of exactly how that feels, it's really hard to make this more important than this. But by going to a music festival where you know people will not judge you and where you will fit in no matter what you're doing over here in the self expression, that's when you begin to realize how awesome this is and how little this matters. And so that's how you begin to flip the script and make self expression more important than caring what other people think about you. So to summarize, basically social anxiety comes from caring too much what other people think all the way to the point where it's more important than expressing yourself. And a lot of the reason for that is because you don't really know exactly how awesome it is to express yourself because you're not used to it. So by going to a festival, you still care what other people think about you, but you're in an environment of self expression and it's a judgment free zone. So you can actually begin to do this stuff and see just how awesome it is and get comfortable with it all the way to the point where you will now no longer care that much what other people think of you because you'd rather just be able to express yourself because that feels way more important and feels way more awesome than simply staying within your shell and not rocking the boat and just staying in this world of caring so much what other people think about you. So I hope that all made sense. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell. So you always get notified every time I drop a video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. But most importantly, please try to put this into action. If you haven't been to a festival already, or maybe you've gone and didn't really have that mindset going in, go. I was reluctant to go to my first one. It was only about a year ago. But my friend talked me into it. I went, it was the best day of my life. Turned out to be extremely transformative. 
and it's the reason why I've come so far. So I hope this helps you out just as much as it helped me out, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.